In this problem, they give us an ANOVA table below for a completely randomized design experiment, and they ask us, what do we conclude about the claim that the treatment means are all equal? So again, let's talk about HO and HA, typically in this problem. Typically, we'd have the idea that the means are all the same. So I can see from the degrees of freedom that there must have been three fertilizers. So I'm going to use mean one is equal to mean two is equal to mean three for our HO. And of course, you know, HA means that at least two of those differ significantly from one another. All right, or at least one differs from the rest significantly. All right, so what we want to do now at this point is to fill in the F test statistic and then compare it to a critical value, right? That's all we need to do. We need to know what this F test statistic is and then compare it to a critical value to determine if we should reject that HO or not. To get the F value, it's pretty easy because we happen to know that the F test statistic is MST over MSE. So I'm just going to plug in those numbers that are provided in the table already. So we have 548 over 60, right? Let's see what that turns out to be. 548 divided by 60. We end up with the answer 9.13 repeating. So 9.13 repeating. So that is our test statistic F. Let's compare that test stat against a critical value. So the critical value will be found by looking up an F critical value on one of our tables. The table that we'll look it up here under is going to be the 5% table because they didn't specify significance level. So we'll by default choose 0 0.05. And then we're going to use the denominator degree, numerator degrees of freedom, sorry, comma the denominator degrees of freedom. Now the numerator was MST, so that's degrees of freedom 2. And the denominator was MSE, that's degrees of freedom 24. So we have to go to the table and look up 2 comma 24 on the 0.05 table, and that will give us our critical value down here. And then we'll compare our test stat against it and see if we're able to reject that null hypothesis. So let's go to the table and do that now. Okay, so we're on the 0.05 table, we have to find numerator degrees of freedom 2 and denominator degrees of freedom 24. So all the way down we find the answer 3.40, 3.40. Okay, so we found the value 3.4028, 3.4028 as our critical value. We'll compare our test stat F against that, the 9.133 value of course lands over here, so we conclude that we should reject HO and of course support the alternative. But if we're rejecting HO, we're rejecting the idea that the treatment means are all equal, so if that's our claim, we're going to reject the claim in this problem.